Hey everybody, I'm Gabby and this is RVs with Gabby. If you are into camping and traveling, if you love RV life too, RVs with Gabby is the right channel for you. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you love my content, please don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell so you never miss another walk around video. All right, check it out, guys. We have a 2024 Jayco J Feather Micro, and I opened all the doors up so you can see all the storage, but new graphics, what do you think? I'm okay with them. Ashley does not like them that much. That's okay. Um, but yeah, this is the new 2024 Micro. It's gonna, it looks super sleek. Uh, it's not as wavy. The 2024s that, that we've gotten from Jayco so far have been a bit more rigid in their lines. Um, very straight and sleek, very modern look to it. So this is the 166 FBS model. Your total length is under 20 feet. Your total dry weight of this camper is 4,060 4, pounds. So super lightweight to be able to tow with an SUV or a smaller truck. Um, and you have 935 pound capacity of payload to put into the camper. Now, a couple of upgrades I noticed on the 24 just from looking on the outside. So you still get the 30 pound propane tanks, right? That's part of the micro package. You're still gonna get um, Asdell in the sidewall. You're still gonna get the integrated A-frame, the solar panel, but look at this. So first of all, I don't, uh, this is the storage bay. Colors have changed slightly. The paneling in the front is a little different. Um, you do have this griddle that comes with it and the tabletop for the outside kitchen right here. So that's where you would set up the griddle, right? Normally, I would find the fridge in this storage bay. So I think what they've done here is take away that mini fridge, give you more storage with the option to purchase a mini fridge and add it. If you want, there is an outlet in here. So I think that's what their reasoning for that probably was. You've got this nice big awning with the LED light strip, the outside speakers. I apologize for the background noise, guys. We're outside 436 in Castleberry and it's kind of loud. By the way, we are. Show them the, show them the new sign, Ashley. Blue Compass RV of Orlando. Oops, sorry. Ashley dropped her phone. I'll pick that up for you. And um, anyway, back to the travel trailer, right? So these are great lightweight units. They're meant to go off the grid a little bit more. You're not meant to run all your systems on solar, guys. It's not anything massive like that. But you do have a solar panel on board to trickle charge your battery. You have these upgraded off-road Goodyear tires with the aluminum rims. They're super clean. You can see that the um, camper is lifted up a little bit to give you more clearance. And then you still have Jayco's galvanized steel wheel well here, right? We've got a two-year warranty. We've got the, the TV mount here, all the magnet latches. Everything is upgraded in the Jayco's, okay? They spare no expense because we'd rather have you pay more and have good quality and enjoy your camping then be the cheapest ones out there and then you know it falls apart in six months and you can't even enjoy camping because you're busy worrying about things breaking and falling apart um the micros still have the magnum truss roof system you still have the upgraded steps that are adjustable now they've got the new um rock solid stabilizers so those are really solid jacks there's a video on jayco's youtube channel you can go check out how they drop those down and lock them in place on the back side of this model, you do have a ladder right here and you do have your spare tire. Now coming around the other side of the unit, you do have an outside shower with hot and cold water here. You have your black tank flush. I just went over that in the latest F&B Friday video. So you definitely want to check that out because that's an awesome upgrade. And uh, tankless water heater on board, guys, check it out. This stuff is awesome. And looks like they've made the silver tracks for your Schwintech slide here black now. So they blend in with the whole graphics package a little bit better. Um, you're pre-wired for side and rear view cameras, but let's go check out. I know you really want to see the inside. So that's really what we're going to go look at. All right, so we're standing in the 166 FBS. You can see that they've changed the interior colors a little bit more. You've got some grays now in this farmhouse decor. You've got still got the dark um, chocolate colored uh, slide out trim, but then if you turn around, your doors have changed for the farmhouse look. Just gonna close that up so it's a lot quieter in here. So as you can see, what they've done is they've made these doors a bit more oversized now. So if you look at like this wall right here, 
it looks a bit more residential now. It's not so RV with like these really thick wood panels between. Again, they're still gonna have glued and screwed cabinets. You can feel it when you put your hand back there. There's no staples, still Amish construction. Uh, you're gonna have the biggest fridge. Wait a second, what's that? No way! You can open it from both sides? That's so cool, guys. Okay, I just figured that out. I love that. So if you're cooking inside, you wanna open it this way because someone's in the bathroom. If you're looking for something in the pantry, that is so cool. All right, all right, so I'm a fan. Um, big, <laughs> sorry, I got really excited about that one. This must be an electric fridge. I can feel it cooling, even though it's only been on for a couple minutes. Um, you also have storage in the pantry, right? That's huge. Um, you're gonna have your bathroom right here. I apologize, I've been saying um a lot recently. L like that sink, that sink is bigger than it was last year. Definitely nice to have that. Um, you've got your plug still, your medicine cabinet, everything looks pretty much the same in the shower area. Just be careful guys, when you're standing in your shower, I wanna note um, that the way that this P-trap is set up, please don't stand directly on it or you may have some issues um, with that P-trap wiggling and you'll, it might have water intrusion issues. So just don't stand directly on it when you're showering because it's not meant to hold that kind of weight. Um, good place for the toilet paper roll, a little bit of storage up top, vent fan, nice, nice, okay. We're gonna go this way. <laughs> we have our pull-out sofa here, um, comfortable. It's still the microfiber material and then there is a, a stowaway full-size like uh, folding table back here as well. That looks like it's four feet long. And what I'm looking at, if you want to come sit next to me, Ashley, you can kind of show them, and I won't be in the shot for a second. You have got your kitchen, three burner cooktop. Looks like you've got a convection microwave up top, right? So they've eliminated the oven, and now you have uh, some storage. That's pretty nice. That's pretty deep. So you can put your pots and pans here. You can put your dishes here. It's great. And then your TV. I don't know if they changed this. They didn't. So this TV is on a swivel. If you pull this, that will release it. So it will turn towards the bed if you, if you're, whoop, oh, it goes way, way too far. So that slams into the, the cabinet there. But if you put your heads there, you could potentially, um, you know, angle the TV here to watch it for the night, or you have a ton of pantry storage back here. Maybe you want to get a lock box, security box, and then just to close it, it just lot, latches right in. Just be careful that this is not out and that you actually secure the TV before you travel. Okay. Big amount of storage underneath the bed. I know some of the models come with, well, actually that's their Murphy bed model, so it's a different setup, but um, I like that storage. I mean, anything helps in these kind of micro units. I know one of the difficult parts is trying to fit everything on your travels. Um, you do have the storage overhead that I already showed you, right? Pretty much that's the micro. I mean, it's a great little camper, super small, lightweight. It's got a ton of features in terms of upgrades, convection oven, larger AC. You've got the Asdell in the sidewall. It's aluminum uh, frame with vacuum bonded sidewall. I know a lot of this might be like, what are you talking about, Gabby? Go check out my other videos, my F&B Friday videos, my how-to videos for more information on each of these small, uh, these small items. I just wanted to go over this. We're both sweating, so I will stop now, but this has been the J Feather Micro 2024 166 FBS. Thank you so much for watching my channel, and until next time, happy camping.